My name is Abby Maxman, and I am the president and CEO of Oxfam America. You know, for me, feminist leadership is an approach that empowers, that brings out the voices of those who are normally not at the table or more marginalized, often women, but not only, to make sure you're creating or I'm creating the enabling environment to bring the diversity of voices in the organization, in our work, in communities to the fore. In our sector and at Oxfam, we look at the issues of power and privilege in communities, in societies, and in our own organization. And it's really fundamental to understand and take and look through a feminist leadership lens at these issues of power and privilege through dimensions of gender, race, class, and other dimensions in, in cultures that may marginalize or exclude people. And so by taking this look and using this lens in engagement and a leadership and an analysis, it ensures we are walking the talk and having an impact in the work we're doing and engaging in people-centered development. Well, feminist leadership can be something as simple as supporting and cheering on your coworker in speaking out and speaking up and when needed, speaking truth to power. It can be creating diverse mechanisms of engagement so that people's voices are heard, even if it transcends hierarchy or other dimensions of power that may exist in the workplace or in the communities we work. Well, I think there are two things that uh, are persistent challenges in mainstreaming feminist leadership in our sector. One is the word itself, feminism, can inspire or provoke reactions and assumptions about what it is and it isn't. But more fundamentally, I think it is about the concerns that people think it is something added, an additional thing to do, rather than a nuanced way of uh, being effective in bringing people along in ensuring you're getting the most out of your workforce, your co colleagues and partners, uh, rather than it being an additional burden. I'm so pleased that we've had a number of positive results at Oxfam to date. And I just wanna point out that I don't see results as an end state. Really practicing feminist leadership is seeing how we manifest uh, feminist principles in all we do. But some specific tangible results have been, uh, we have produced and rolled out a feminist guide to influencing, done a number of webinars and events to socialize that with our teams and partners. Uh, we have seen a real embrace of a commitment to feminist leadership and applying feminist principles in all that we do. And I believe that actually feminist pr principles and leadership principles are really 21st century leadership pr principles in how we work together, bring people along, and bring people to new places in how we create sustainable results and impact. And at Oxfam also, we have rolled out in the organization something we've done across multiple contexts around the world is a gender action learning process where we've brought together uh, staff uh, from across the organization, different hierarchies and functions to really look at how we learn as an organization and practice what we preach about being a gender just organization. Lessons learned worth sharing are to keep listening and keep learning. Never stop. Whenever you think you're reaching some bar, raise it. Keep going and share what you've learned and adapt and listen and learn from others and don't give up.